Hi. Welcome to Digital Inspires. Today we'll brief you with all the information regarding the General Data Protection Regulation also known as GDPR. What is GDPR? GDPR is a new law passed by EU, the European Union, that mandates every website to follow some requirements. The fine for violating these requirements is as high as $20 million. How does it affect your business? GDPR does not require you to be a European citizen, or for you to be a European-based business to find you guilty and impose a violation. They can do it even if you're located across the Pacific Ocean and have absolutely no care what's happening in France. Not only that, you might even be barred from serving any customer from EU ever again. Why do you need to be GDPR compliant? 1. If people from European Union can visit and interact with your site, you need to be compliant. 2. If people from EU can sign up as leads on your site, or give you their data in any other way, you need to be compliant. 3. If your site makes use of any cookies or has any third-party integrations that uses cookies, Facebook Pixel, Analytics etc. 4. It doesn't matter whether you sell anything to EU people or not. If they can access, you gotta be compliant. You can't escape it either. Nope. Because like it or not, your country has a legal agreement about law enforcement with EU and all other larger countries. So you'll have to face the consequences. What are the consequences for not being GDPR compliant? 1. Fine of up to Europe 20 million or 4% of your global revenue. Whichever is greater. 2. Not being able to sell to customers from EU or serve them in any other way. 3. Not being able to monetize EU-based customers through ads or other means. 4. Severe legal costs and hassles that will stop you from focusing on your business. You are working hard every day with a mission to grow and prosper, but suddenly one day a new law comes in and takes away all your business? No, you can't allow that to happen. To fix GDPR you must have these policies. 1. Data Protection Policy, an essential guide to employees regarding how they may use data, how they can keep it secure, and the consequences of misuse. 2. Data Retention Policy. This policy sets out the time limits for deleting different types of documents so that we can stay within the GDPR storage limitation principle found in Article 5 of the GDPR. 3. Data Breach Incident Policy. An emergency plan that tells your company what to do if a data breach occurs, how to form a team to deal with the breach, how to prevent any further loss of data and whether the company needs to tell customers and regulators about the breach. Other data policies you may need are 1. Big data policy, what you can and cannot do with big data under GDPR. 2. Human resources and data protection policy, how to treat employee data. 3. Marketing and data protection policy, the rule book on sending customers offers and promotions. 4. Social media policy, explains what employees are allowed to post on social media sometimes including on private accounts. 5. Encryption policy. How, when and why we encrypt data. 6. Outsourcing policy. What you need to do if you are sending data to a business partner. 7. Bring your own device policy, the manual on how to use a personal device in the course of your job. Don't let your business seize, make these adjustments and be back in business before you even know. Thanks for watching Digital Inspires.